This is a domesticated silk moth. These domesticated silk moths used to be the wild type called mandarina silk moths. You can still find the mandarina silk moths in the wild, but you will not find domesticated silk moths in the wild. These guys need your help as soon as the egg hatches and all the way up until they spin their cocoon. They also eat all of their food through their larval stage and when they become moths, they don't eat at all. As you can see, they don't have a proboscis. Domesticated silk moths were designed solely to create silk. In today's world, we also use the worms to feed our reptiles and invertebrates, and they are actually very nutritious. Domesticated silk moths are extremely inbred, and generally they have a completely white body with a white wing, but mine are mixed with the wild type mandarina, so that's why you see patterning in my baby's wings. The reason that I mix my genetics is because it creates a stronger line of silk moths, and I don't really care if the cocoon is really strong like the pure Bombay Morais. My mixed ones do create a weaker cocoon, but I'm not in it for silk. I'm in it for this face. Look at it, it's adorable.